maybe he's gonna be able to help out Chessy. He does cancel his TP on the bottom lane, just opting for this tower to be destroyed instead. This is such an aggressive push from heroes that you wouldn't really expect aggressive tower destruction out of. And that Phantom Mage's space is just going to shrink. He will get a little bit of empower action from the Magnus, perhaps a little bit earlier than he's ordinarily used to, so I guess a kind of budget battle fury there for the Anti Mage somewhat, but still this Phantom Lancer is untouched. This puck is untouched. And now complexity, they're starting to get a little bit closer to those big level sixes. Warlock just needs to witness one more creep kill. Earthshaker just needs like two or three. And then things get really bad for each G. Denied. A prize. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Keeping the Monkey King up towards the top lane as well, just snipe any foolish support hero that decides this top lane is safe. Anti Mage not touched this lane. He's actually, I think, jungled and then straight went back to the fountain. Will TP out now. He's going to go towards mid, trying to convert it on Limp Shockwave. God, of course, that means he cannot dodge the rest of this charge in, but now you have a chaotic offer. You don't need to dodge. Your out is going to keep some mail safe, but crit his TP is not going to work out. Shadow Word should not work up against this Magnus to actually kill him. But still, they turn things around, save the puck, kill off the Spirit Breaker. Perhaps not perfect. You, you want maybe a little bit more of that second kill with the Chaotic Offering, but man, Complexity are not going to complain. They're really rapidly approaching not one, but two Blink Daggers on the puck and the Shaker, while also keeping his Monkey King and his pressure up towards top. Fear is up top lane, but he can't really afford to farm top lane. It's just too dangerous. Dial structures are fortified. Dyer's naval tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. There is an Echo Slam, so they do have that additional stun tool. Freak, see the blink away. I will see the Anti Mage and Dyer, afterwards. Certainly are ready to make this Anti Mage's life even more difficult. He's been jungling the past three some odd minutes, and with Empower, it's not all that bad, but for sure you still see Anti Mages in lanes, I would say, in like 80% of games with Anti Mage by this timing. Like, he's, he just isn't ready to go out yet. and you can maybe pick a little bit of a fight here with Limp. Limp actually does show off his Blink Dagger in that mid lane, so GG know about that. Knowing about it and actually playing around it are definitely two different things. Is they don't really have that much fighting power back towards the Puck should Puck make initiation. They still don't even have Global Silence. Spear's only level 5. Illusion. The bounty which my Matriarch will prize. Just trying to clear out some Ancients, taking quite a bit of damage in doing so. We have a handful of heroes still converged on top lane. Ward placed though by Kyle. We'll see pretty much everyone. They're just waiting for these additional items to come up on Moo. Echo Saber with the Blightstone and can kill pretty much anyone by himself on one by uh, one by one basis. But still, he's just happily farming this top lane. Still, Chessy's happily farming this bottom lane. We have 2,700 gold, man, on this Phantom Lancer. Uh, I would still say defeat people, but saving gold always makes me question if, this, uh, if these guys are actually going to make a different item play. Usually, you just buy defusal parts. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Like a bit 
tail and running into a half health Earthshaker. Silver plat Another kill there for EG as Z Freak just wandering around a little bit too confidently. That was a smoke gank from uh, both Universe as well as Crit. So they get a freebie in the Earthshaker and actually had a pretty darn good time too. He's approaching his blink dagger pretty rapidly and able to slow that down. But Veil on the Pugna now with maxed out just by, of course, maxed out blast. They are able to do a lot of damage here if the Pugna is actually able to get that full channel off. So maybe EG can leverage this Pugna now. Invisibility. Get him right now, though, Magnus can get jumped on by Mu immediately. Screw out. Be fine. Yes. Oh, crit charges in, but gets swarmed with these mana draining illusions. Now the chaotic offering onto crit as well with another purge and a couple more right clicks from Chessie. Well, they'll take him down. And also purge off that pepper pie with a doppelganger forward. Another purge charge. He's on the universe. Blast upon blast. Clear out these illusions, but he still needs a little bit more space here. Uh, Chaotic Offering's doing a lot of damage here. Smith so does come in and skewers in the Warlock, but even if they kill off the Warlock, it's a Warlock. <laughs> Who cares? Top lane is still being pushed in the meantime. Chessy is at actually full HP. And they only get the Spirit Breaker, but it was all in the efforts of space creation because they took down the top tier 2 at the exact same time. EG. They, they can't actually answer this this fan lancer, at least not right now. They need an RP to land. So find the warlock. Again, just actually that's a killing spree warlock. That's actually worth quite a bit. But uh yeah, still chessy man. Defusal the blade shows up in a big way, uses like all the charges in the first fight. Easy, being chased after by a Monkey King. Takes two shots and man, that does a lot of damage. The Saber Blightstone, real deal here for the Monkey King. E Freak does have his Blink Dagger as well as EG, yeah. We'll walk right into a scan. On um, scan is, that's that's like the ideal scan right there. It flashes red, then goes green, then flashes red. So complexity know that there's, odds are, more than one person in that area they actually still catch anyone because Mu is in the front right now. They don't have any vision of him yet. He's hiding in the trees. They do scan him and now it goes green. Ugh. Trying to catch a monkey in the trees. Good luck. out right there just making sure that whoever goes to that top lane is gonna be all that safe he does see Arteezy blink in still know who's right behind him it is in fact the spirit breaker who's just chilling right now clean up this creep wave Arteezy What's your battle fury timing looking like pretty soon actually so and this does represent the way that EG come back in this game again it's all about that ink mage all about that split farm to get that ink mage that space and now that he can actually farm without the Magnus hanging around him all the time within power Maybe the rest of EG heroes can afford to separate and get something dumped. Right now, though, complexity. Smoke on limp is going to break, although the Magnus is going to jump out of there before they can actually come in. So smoke is not looking like it's going to be successful. Tower is under attack. Go for me. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Bottom tower has fallen. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. 
Radiance of power has fallen. Not nothing. At this point, they'll take any single structure they can get. So it doesn't look like it's really going to be free because bottom lane was pushed really hard. Not with any heroes right now, but still creep chip damage onto the tier threes. Not something that EG can't afford to ignore. Same exact thing for the mid tier two. Except this is actually being pushed by heroes, and it looks like it will be cleaned up by chess illusions or creeps, whatever. It's still down in favor of complexity, so oh, smell. Your out is going to catch the real Chessy. That means that there's more lances. That means there's more illusions. With the fissure there, Deep Freak's going to jump into the pain stun. Sumail is going to... Oh, yeah, he's going to pop. They do use the global silence, and they will find the Phantom Lancer. Do quite a bit of damage to him, but Moo now has arrived with the Jingu. I don't think about dropping that rock, but into the Nether Ward, not really going to be super fun for him to do so. Global silence will make it a one-for-one -one trade. It's a fine trade for Evil Geniuses, as long as they don't lose anyone else here. That is still a very long cooldown to be expended from the Silencer, and for complexity, they still have that chaotic offering in their back pocket. say uh but still this this is you know really good map control for sure for complexity there is somewhat of an issue that the area that is under their control like the part of the map they have control over is not really the ideal part if they want to stop this antimate from farming he still has full access to his own jungle and so now complexity are going to make a movement towards that area where they're not going to find anyone for right now but uh this bottom lane and the mid lane near that uh, secret shop doesn't to represent a lot of valuable farm time for the anti-mage. They are going to wrap around and find Crick. Uh, it's not really the hero that they wanted, but it's the hero to take. Easy, easy kill on Spirit Breaker Fear. Still stick around top lane, will take you out. And now it looks like Complexity are going to look to get this area of the map under control. The Dire Jungle, that's really how anti-mage is going to lean on uh, this Battle Fury to be empowered to get his gold. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Sumail blinks out, but Mu wasn't even jumping on him anyway, so blinks. Seconds, not the longest timer to be down for a silencer, but let's see if don't expend anything for that kill. They will lose a tier one in the meantime. Universe and Arteezy getting to work down there. Complexity really go for Roche right now. They do have the Desolator on the Monkey King, so yeah, Roche on to be dropping pretty quick, despite how honestly bad Phantom Lancer is versus Roche. I'm not really sure if EG really care to make a move here. It just seems like Roche have to give this up. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Hey. Roshan has fallen to the Radiant. That Roach is actually going to give Chessie just enough gold to complete Manta Styles. It's global silence. Not even all that great anymore, at least for some Lancer. It wasn't, wasn't fantastic to begin with, honestly, but... Just not gonna stick to now two heroes at the complexity side. Fred. Right, 
charge out, but Z Freak read him like a book. Fissure and cancels the charge. Okay, we do have no man style on Arteezy, but he's just gonna turn around and try to go for a limp. He does have backup coming in, but the backup's coming in here in the form of Mood. Tries to go for Sumail, forces the four staff skewer out. Full retreat here as Arteezy. Excellent. Maybe still hunting for a little bit of puck, or maybe just trying to get into a position where he can farm safely. Radio Bottom line universe, kind of forgot about by the complexity Radiant's side or ignored. Either way, down. still gonna be a tower down. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dire structures are fortified. He's not hitting buildings just yet. They will start throwing all their spells at this Phantom Lancer, but Phantom Lancer throws all the illusions back at Universe, and now out of mana, this Pugna has to back off. This style of pushing for complexity with this age is so safe. Like, let Monkey King land the Echo Saber hit with the Desolator on the power. Oh, jump in, but Magnus got red with the Boundless Strike. Is gonna still skewer a couple of back Global Slams and the RP. Looking for that MK. Coil and Echo Slam, though, gonna make a nice revenge play as they will lose the MK, but they gain a whole lot in exchange. A lot of stun action going on here for Complexity, but they have blown most of their load. They still have the Chaotic Offering. They'll drop it. Chessie is going to make a disengage out. Easy still can chase. He still has that mana void, and he's gonna find a war block, but now get purged up. Chessie will get popped, but that's just the Aegis. That's perfectly fine for him. No, not to the anti mage. They don't have any four stuns, unfortunately. It's gonna be Monkey King and Aegis for that tier three tower. Handful of kills. Perhaps not uh, necessarily as great as we really would have liked, but tier three down means shrines are taken down. They're still pretty happy with this result. Yes! like to be a botched initiation there from Sumail because he blinked in looking for an RP slash skewer and at the same exact time just unfortunately the monkey was laying down that boundless strike so ended up getting stunned but still was able to handle move pretty quickly with that RP skewer back. It's gonna be a lot more difficult to do that in the future since Monkey King is looking now at a BKB as his next item. So another answer to that global silence which Fear hasn't really been able to use all that much in this game just Got it way too slowly and, and way too few opportunities and now at least versus these cores of complexity well, silence isn't going to be that ace in the hole that it normally is still 30 minutes in the game Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Oh, credit to I was just about to say, like, credit to EG where it's due, despite how rough the early game was, they've managed to dodge. <laughs> A lot of kills uh, say that universe is kind of being stalked by limp. We'll see if he's able to make it out here, but you know, pretty much all the heroes that of the universe is in a lot of trouble now. Orbin and um, he's a four staff, and he will actually dodge the coil Got out of range with that four staff just in time. Limp still chasing forward though. He's gonna check the trees to see if universe juked in there. He didn't, and now with the bonds, they have a Yule scepter to cancel a TP. Universe just running out though in like a Super straight line, still Limp's gonna cut to in front of him. And now, maybe have a chance to keep... Yeah, silence. Can't quite get the TP, and even if it was gonna be that, Chessie was here, so... It's gonna be a long chase, but they lose Moo elsewhere. As it seems like... Was there an RP used? There was.
Ravian's top tower is under attack. A prize. Still working on a lot of gold. Didn't very, very safe in this game. She only died once, and that was what, like, very early on in the game. All the sacrifices, really, were coming out from EG, where heroes to be sacrificed. The silencer, the spirit breaker, those supports, just tanking smoke gang. Making the enemies spend spells on those heroes instead of the heroes like Anti-Mage. See, still with this map control, but you can see this gold lead that they once had. Still is there, but it is slowly but surely starting to shrink as complexity. They are itching for a team fight, but this is what EG have kind of drafted themselves for. Like, they are using these heroes they drafted to avoid team fights exactly in the way they're supposed to be used. Although Crit does have a Shadow Blade, he's going to be charging in towards the Monkey King. Thanks. That's it. Okay. is uh, not really getting much done here for complexity. They're farming a couple creep waves, a couple jungle camps here and there, but compared to the farm rate that Arteezy is working with now, all the way in the Radiant Secret Shop, there really is no contest. This is usually going to be broken by like a big item like a BKB or an Aegis Cheese, which I'm pretty sure complexity are just waiting for. They're either that or waiting for someone to get really stupid and trying to pick them off, but it does seem like this type of stalled out game state is bring EG bits unless complexity decides to make a move. Oh, the coil. On to two, including Sumail. He does have a BKB. Who's thinking about throwing out some monkeys, but we'll decide against it. As they're just going to try to focus down the range rack. Shikar coming in from the side with an RP onto everyone. Where's the follow? Arteezy's finally going to arrive with the mana void. Did a lot of damage. Gonna bring everyone low, not that just yet. As the Echo Slam is gonna turn things around somewhat. They only the Monkey King so far. Z Freak though will fall in the end, and now everyone is gonna fall actually as Arteezy shows up big. We'll make it a full wipe. Okay, that is going to be a triple kill for Arteezy. And a really, really nice RP initiation there from Sumail with the mana void. That's, that's textbook stuff there with Magnus Anti Mage. Radiant star tower has fallen. Gold for me. See if this is actually going to impact complexity in the way they're playing this game, because for the past five-ish minutes, they've been wandering around as a five-man group. And EG have been kind of defensively four manning, but Arteezy has been out on his own. If Complexity decide to change up their strat, do you think that's actually at all viable, or do you think like still five manning is the only way that they have to actually still take this game? Backup here, there's a silent for the fissure. He's jumping in as well, lots of damage with the RP in response, and now with the BKB pops, RTG just can go to town, instant double. Who has dropped the circle of monkeys, and it will do a lot of damage to RTG, but not quite enough to kill. That's going to be no casualties for EG, although Limp, looking to make it one, can't quite catch up to crit. 
They lose the Lancer and the Shaker, and they, they well, drop the Anti-Mage low, I guess, but Arteezy still survives, and EG wins. in the area. Dyer's top tower is under attack. the time because there is no RP on the Magnus still 30 seconds out for that 40 seconds off their global silence yeah they do have the Aegis the uh, anti-mage cheese on the mag but like this is still I, I want to say like the best chance that Klex has back happen uh, losing Z Freak though is not a good way to start that off Rule Scepter will not save you here and that Shaker the wrong spot of the map Another casualty as EG now skyrocket to a 9k lead of their own with tier 3 down in the bottom lane. We'll start taking up the shrines. This game is hard. this anti let alone kill him and of course with this Aegis on him uh, I, I want to say it's just impossible for complexity to actually do that uh, if, if they're if they are gonna find the anti mage he will definitely have backup in time for his second life so complexity now kind of on the defensive side of things still playing exactly as he has been no boots no problem you have blink with arcane rune he will just start shredding all the waves he kind of just wants complexity to go on him because he knows that his backup He's not too far away. He's fairly tanky and he's got BKB, he's got the Aegis now fresh abyssal blades. If he finds any one guy Come out alone, Teezy can definitely put him down. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Stopping the building because he decides to hit the creeps instead. Maybe like maybe mana burn him out with those illusions, but no, he just walks in, takes racks, and walks back. Complexity now facing down at 15k disadvantage. Arteezy still will do the exact same thing. They need to find an angle on his mail, they need to find an angle on the universe. Really anyone who's not Arteezy at this point. They gotta take out those defensive curves. Limp's gonna jump right in onto Sumail. Can they bring him down? Four staffs out, still has the BKB. Initiation coming in from the Monkey King now. He's just trying to focus down Sumail first. Does pop the cheese and Sumail will survive. Arteezy pops Limp in the background. And now he's gonna find the Abyssal onto the Phantom Lancer. He will doppel out. Arteezy's still hot on his tail. Still has that Aegis. Still very comfortable in this fight. He's gonna blink backwards instead. Going for another strike to take him down. Yes, 
Z and Zol. Z Freak looking for the Echo Slam. He's getting stunned though. He can't cast it. It's an ultra kill for Artesian. Earthshaker just sitting there stunned the entire time. Cannot cast a single thing. GG well played is called. And that is how you play Anti-Mage Magnus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.